Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging and welcome to Germany, where I will not do a top speed range test this time, no. That will be a different video, and if you want to see it, click somewhere, somewhere up here. No, this is going to be a normal range test with the Cupra Born. Yes, the Cupra Born, the car that shares basically all its tech with the Volkswagen ID3. The version that is standing here has the 58 kilowatt hour battery pack and this car has 19 inch wheels and all season tires. You know the drill, I will do one test at 90 kilometers per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions and I will do one test at 130 kilometers per hour for highway range. The conditions today, mostly clear sky, the sun is shining over there, that means that it is going to be a cold night, I think it is around 5 degrees Celsius tonight. Um, but there's no wind, the roads are dry, so the car is being charged to over 90% and then off I go. I gotta say this is a really nice car to travel in. The car is quiet, it feels planted on the road, it is a really nice car to drive. And since I started, I have an empty highway in front of me. I am driving, well, 90 kilometers per hour and sometimes a German comes by with 150 kilometers an hour and then I wished I could do that, but not yet, not yet. Anyway, I have used almost 25% state of charge and on those 25% I have driven, I don't know, because that is not in one menu, the few cars that it is not in one menu, but let me have a look. I have driven 25%, I have driven 89 no, 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 that's not right, sorry. 83 kilometers, I have driven 83 kilometers. So do the calculation, 83 times four, almost times four, yeah, 85. Let's say 85 times four is around 340 kilometers of range, yeah. So 340 kilometers of range. The average consumption at the moment is 16.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers but I have the feeling I am going up the elevation is going up slowly so I wonder if I turn around because I am, I am going to turn around soon if the consumption goes down a little bit but I will just keep on cruising on this empty highway and I will just see Germans coming by with a much higher speed than I do at the moment I am still cruising along on this rather empty highway and also rather dark highway I'm used to the fact that in the Netherlands the lights on the highway are on until 11 in the evening and also that pretty much all highways have lights. But anyway, this is fine though, I can drive in the dark. The car has used almost 50% state of charge, so let's see how far we have driven on that 50%. Tap tap. And there we go, I have driven 160, well let's say 165 kilometers, so the range actually dropped to 330 kilometers. The consumption also went up a bit to 17.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. The temperature at the moment is 5.5 degrees Celsius. The consumption is actually a little bit higher than I expected it to be. But I'm very curious that when I am at the charger and I am stationary, how much the heater consumes because this car does not have a heat pump. Anyway, we keep cruising along and well, we will be for at least another hour. So I finished my 90 km per hour test, so let's get to the results. I started the test with 97% state of charge and I arrived here at the charger with 11%. That means I've used 86%. On those 86% I have driven 276 kilometers, so you can do on one full battery in these conditions 321 kilometers. Again, 321 kilometers. What are these conditions then? Well again, there's barely any wind, the roads are dry, but I started this test with around 11 degrees Celsius, but it quickly got colder and at the moment it is around 5 degrees Celsius. So pretty cold conditions. The consumption was 17.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, which is a bit higher than I expected to be honest. But we have to remember that this car does not have a heat pump and while stationary, I have seen numbers that this car is pulling 1.7 kilowatts to keep it nice and cozy in here. 
I have the temperature at 21 degrees. Again, 1.7 kilowatts to heat up the cabin and also, of course, the lights and stuff. But in summer, when your air conditioning is running, you're probably pulling 700 watts instead of 1.7 kilowatts. So that's already one kilowatt difference in consumption. So in summer, I do expect that you can get closer to that 400 kilometers. Over 400 kilometers, I don't know, to be honest. Um, I have seen tests of the Volkswagen ID3 where it did more than 400 kilometers. So it's probably possible with this Cupra Born 2, but probably closer in my mind, probably closer to 380 to 400 kilometers. So that's where the result. It's time to charge up and then I can do the 130 kilometers per hour test. All right, so I have reached a turnaround point because if I don't turn around here, I don't know where the next exit will be. And then I don't know if I can make it back while driving 130 kilometers an hour. Let's see how much state of charge we have used at the moment. One minute or one moment. E-manager, 51. We are currently at 51%. So that means I have used 30 30 percent 30 percent and i have driven on those 30 percent oh so much menus 61 kilometers so do 61 times three a little bit more than three the range will be around 200 kilometers it seems but we still have to drive all the way back maybe it changes a little bit but Oh, there is some fog. It's crazy. And I still have to do the top speed range test after this. But it won't stop me. Power. Well, cruise control. 100 at 133. There we go. I'll see you with the charger. Here I am again with the result of the 130 kilometers per hour test. The conditions didn't change except for the temperature. It was in this test between 3 and 5 degrees Celsius. I started this test with 80% state of charge and I arrived at the charger with 19%. So that means I've used 61%. On those 61%, I have driven 123 kilometers. So on one state of charge, you can drive while driving 130 in these conditions, 195 kilometers. The consumption was 26.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So that were the results and that was the range test of the Cupra Born with the 58 kilowatt hour battery pack. I hope you liked it and if you did please give a like. If you have something to say leave a comment and it would be awesome if you subscribed. And then I would like to say now thank you a lot for watching and as always to be continued.